Hey, today we're going to be upgrading your standard epoxy roller style drawer slides with soft close ball bearing slides. Now you'll know you have the epoxy slides obviously if they look like this. And when you close them, they sound a bit like that. Now the new slides that we're going to be installing will sound a little more like this. All right, so now this project is pretty simple. It's not too hard. All you're gonna need is a tape measure, a level, and some ball bearing drawer slides. These have soft close. You could do the same project with or without the soft close. Uh, you might as well just do the soft close if you're gonna be upgrading the epoxy rollers. Now the epoxy slides come out by lifting the drawer up, pull, and then just pull it out. They look something like this. Now, in order to replace your drawer slides, you're gonna to need to know what drawer slide length to order. All you're gonna to have to do is measure from the back of your drawer front to the back of the drawer slide, and we have exactly 20 inches, so we're gonna to want to order a 20 inch drawer slide. Now, before you pull out that drawer, what you're gonna first do is this. Okay, so now here's the drawer that we're gonna be replacing. As you can see, there are the epoxy slides. Now, if you have a drawer underneath or a door, what you're gonna wanna do is remove the drawer if you do have a drawer. If you have a door, you could just open the door and you're gonna wanna make a mark right where the drawer front meets the face frame or the frame of the cabinet. That way we'll ensure that when we install these new slides, everything will line back up like it did before. Although these don't look too lined up, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep it in the same spot for now and we'll adjust things later. You're gonna to do the same for this side, either by taking off the door or with a level. And if you have a door like this, don't be afraid, really easy to take it off. This one has a little piece that you pull right there. You just squeeze that towards you and the door comes right off. Not so much with one hand, like that. Okay, so that door is removed. So once again, you're gonna make your mark underneath the drawer front. Now you can go ahead and pull out the drawer. And as you see, we have our marks on both sides. That will be our reference marks. Now what you can do with these marks is quite simple. You're gonna measure exactly two inches up. So you're gonna make a mark from here to right here at two inches, and you're gonna do the same for the other side. The one inch, so we're just gonna burn an inch. So we're gonna go from the one, I'm gonna add one, two. So burning an inch is when you don't use this because it might be in the way. It'd be really hard to measure from here. So all you do is burn the inch, which would be the one, go to the three, and that is exactly two inches. Now you can go ahead and remove the old slides. These are just a Phillips. Now we're gonna to wanna to transfer this mark that we made all, all the way along the cabinet. So what I recommend is just using a level, lining it up with your mark, getting the bubble in the right spot, and make your line. All right, we are now ready to install the cabinet member part of our drawer slide. These come apart, so all you do is pull it all the way out. On this side, there's going to be a lever that you're either going to pull down, push one of those, and it will disengage. Now, this part will be going on your drawer, so we're going to keep that to the side. And this will be the part that we'll be fixing to our cabinet. You'll notice most of the ball bearing drawer slides have elongated holes, as you see here and here versus the circle. This is for adjustment, 
So what you're going to want to do is screw these on to the cabinet at first until you get everything situated. And then if everything lines up, you'll go ahead and put your final screw into the circled hole. But this will allow the drawer to move forward and backward in case you need a little bit of an adjustment. Now, as you remember, we put the line all the way down on our cabinet. What we're going to be doing is that line is our center line for all of these holes. You can flip the drawer slide over, get a tape measure, reference the front of the slide, which usually has this black part or some kind of plastic piece. It's the way you pulled out the drawer slide piece. That will be your front. Now from the front, all you have to do is measure the center of your elongated holes. So as you see here, we have roughly four and a half. As long as we're inside that, we'll be good. And then here we have 12 and an eighth. So we have four and a half and 12 and an eighth. Now we'll transfer those measurements inside the cabinet. So as you see, here's our center line that we had earlier. Now we're just going to transfer our measurements of four and one half and 12 and an eighth. Now you can go ahead and pre-drill these two spots with a 1 8 inch drill bit, or you could just use one of your truss screws that we're going to be mounting the slide with and just center it on the hole. And then go ahead and screw it in just a little to get that screw started. Now you're going to place your slide and line up those at least two holes. So depending on your drawer slide, some of these require about an eighth of an inch step back. Uh, this one, I'm just going to put just a hair behind it. So as long as it is flush with the front or just a hair behind, you should be okay. And of course, we're going to do the same for the other side. We have our four and a half and 12 and an eighth. Now you can just get your screw ready. Don't necessarily have to pre-drill. You want to flush the front up with the cabinet and you can find your hole. As you see right here, we have our center hole. And then you could just carefully put the screw there. And once again, depending on your slide, you might have to kind of maneuver this piece around so you can see what you're working with. See, as you can see, our mark is over here. So there it is right there. So now we know that's nice and in the center. But sometimes you have to just maneuver this because there's little access spots, as you see here and here. So if this was covering this hole right here, say we wanted to screw that and we couldn't get to it because that, you just maneuver this part around. Okay, we are now ready to take off our drawer slide from the drawer box. So now you can see there are some on the side and some on the bottom. Go ahead and unscrew those now. Now going in reference to the bottom of the drawer front, like we made that mark when it was against the cabinet at the beginning of the video underneath, we are gonna measure from the bottom of the drawer front to the drawer box two inches, the same two inches that we use for the insides, we're gonna also use on the outside. All right, so now we have our two inches right here. So now all you have to do is to transfer this two inch down to here, you're just gonna remove it from the bottom of the drawer front and go to the bottom of the drawer and you will measure whatever that is, which we are having one inch and five sixteenths. So we're gonna go down here, measure an inch and five sixteenths. You could also measure it from the other side if that makes you feel better, if the measurement's easier. 
just like that one is two and three quarter. So now I could bring that same measurement over here to make it two and three quarter. The main thing is we want this line to line up. So now I'm gonna place my level on the mark over here and the mark back here. And that's gonna give me a nice, straight, even line. Okay, so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is place our drawer slide on the center of the line we just made. So we're gonna center our drawer slide by looking inside the holes and finding the center of the hole with the line from front to back. And back here, this one's kind of cool. It's got a little star thing there that you can actually really line up nice and even. And we're good, pretty good. There we are, in the front. So now you're gonna to wanna to use these middle holes, the elongated ones going up and down, uh, because that's gonna give us adjustability if the drawer's not quite perfect, or if something moves, we could always move the drawer up and down. Then once we get the drawer exactly where we want it after it's installed, we can go back and put in the other holes with screws. So once again, you can pre-drill these holes, or you could just go straight with the screw as I'm gonna do and screw it right in without it pre-drilling. Now these screws are number eight by seven sixteenths of an inch, and they are low profile truss head screws, which gives clearance for these drawer slides to work. Now we're going to take our drawer, line it up with the slides, push it in nice and firmly, push till it clicks, and of course test it just a few times to make sure everything works like it's supposed to.